Agate, I have done as you asked. The imposter is dead. He was working with De Ferrer. Hmm. What else have you learned? Only... that he would have forced you out of hiding. Let us be thankful it did not come to that. If it had our brotherhood... Well, let us not dwell. You have destroyed the hornet's nest in the bayou. At least for now. De Ferrer will have his day. Bonsoir. I'm a friend of Captain Dominguez. Is he on board? <laughs> at this hour, El Capitan is at the tavern. Where else? Thank you. Farewell and adieu to your best Paris letters. Farewell and adieu to your letters of Spain. Spain is the only thing I am. I am Carlos Capitan, Dominguez. We meet again. Do we? All three of you look familiar. <laughs> but you're all welcome back to my cabin. I've manhood for... I don't think... Or we can consort right here! <laughs> what do you know about Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer? I'm afraid he's not invited. <laughs> What's your business with him? He pays for transport to and from New Orleans. That's all I do. Transport the things and get paid. Things, paid. Transport, paid. Back and forth and forth and back. What is he doing? Why New Orleans? <laughs> I do not know. Senor de Ferrer is a very secretive man. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Capitan. <laughs>
Aveline, out and about as always. But home to rest now, Papa. Monsieur Blanc tells me you do a great service to my business. To our business? For it will be your husband someday. Oh, Papa! You know I should sooner mind my own business than marry. As stubborn as your mother, Jeanne. If only she could see you now. But she can't. No. But perhaps you are old enough now. It is not much. One page. But it is from her diary. You should have it. Mama. Thank you, Papa. Papa, you surprised me. I dared not interrupt. Your music is breathtaking. I dare say you could stop a man's heart. You flatter me too much, Papa. The credit belongs to my teacher. I am but an instrument of his will. How blessed we are with a daughter who uses your talents in peace, not to riot in the streets of New Orleans. There is so much unrest since the arrival of the Spanish. Well, I don't want to keep you from your practice. I simply came with a message from Monsieur Blanc. At your leisure, he requests your assistance at the warehouse. Do take care when you go. The streets are not safe for a lady. No need to worry, Papa. I will try to restrain myself. I know your charm and grace will protect you like armor. Torturers! Kidnappers! We demand answers! Unwashed scabs, go back to your swamps! How many more will disappear? Get back, or I'll give you a reason to protest! Enough! The man is down. Don't abuse what little power you have. All right, let me go! Now, what's this all about? People have been turning up missing. Or... Uh, not turning up, rather. That's why we... But you have proof the Spanish are behind it? Kidnappings have increased since they got here. Increased? Life was never easy. Now, it's worse. Rioting will only worsen your plight. You need evidence. And how are we going to get that? I... I don't know. Yet. Some help you are.
Ah, Aveline. Good day. I have a, a surprise for you. What do you think? To the unknowing eye, an unassuming warehouse. But to our brotherhood, your new headquarters. Agate takes his office in the swamp. But we thought you might prefer this for your business dealings. From this desk you can manage, or better still, expand your family's trading empire. This room is all yours, and all of your guises are kept here. Over here, you have a private place to change your guise. And most importantly, your weapons and tools will be kept here. <sighs> It is to your liking, then. It's perfect. In that case, I will leave you a quiet moment to familiarize yourself with everything. Aveline, I've, um, concocted a special instrument for you. A uh, parasol? I suppose I should thank you, but... Uh, allow me to, uh, demonstrate. See? Elegant and deadly. Just like my lady. Monsieur Blanc, you do know me so well. Ah! Oh. Right, um... So, business. Do you recall our rival, Monsieur Boucher, who was twice caught watering his wine? Up to his old tricks again? Now he claims our coffee. He rods the nerves. He has erected a stall in the market by the docks and distributes handbills to that effect. Sales are impacted, and we have enough trouble keeping money in the company as it is. Say no more. I'll see to it that he ceases his slander. Follow me. De Grand Prix 
coffee produces hives about the face and causes fit men to walk with a limp. Avoid the primitive muck water. Drink fine East India tea, the elixir of gentlemen. What's the meaning of this? I, I don't know, ma'am. They pay me to say what I'm told. I can't even read, I swear. Where is your employer? At his warehouse, no doubt. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Kill me! What do you want? Stop slandering the Grand Prix's reputation. Close your deceptive booth, clean the market of your insipid handbills, and issue a public apology. All right! I'll apologize! I swear! What's this? Coffee? <laughs> How are you feeling? A touch nervous? Itchy? All right, look. I, I'm desperate. I, I can't keep my slaves from escaping. I lose money every day. And all my stock is in tea. If everyone starts drinking coffee, I'll be through. Anyone who keeps slaves deserves to lose them. Next time, remember. Far worse things can haunt a man than lost business. All right, all right, all right, ma'am. He'll be no more trouble. I'll say. He's going bankrupt. Selling off his shops. Care to, um, expand your empire? Now there's an idea. If I buy him out, I can pay his slaves a wage and set them on the path to freedom. Well, certainly a more a peaceful solution to your usual method of handling slavers. I'll keep a tally of properties available to buy and make sure my informants keep an eye on uh, opportunities. Look for them. Thank you, Gerald. Gérald, I'm hearing about disappearing slaves again. I thought we ended that with Gouverneur Dabadi. But it happens again, and not only slaves now, but laborers, the poor. Where are they all going? I'll set my informants on finding out. No. I'll do it myself. They need help now. May I suggest that you, um, start with saint Angers this time? Yes. This is one case we won't solve at the garden party. When you're ready to go, find me outside, near the docks. I'll show you a faster way there.
Ah, Evelyn, I simply come here when you need to travel out of town. The uh, business will cover any expense. Aveline, what troubles you? I'm investigating new reports of disappearances. Are you missing anyone? It does seem that way. But so many rest here before moving on. It is not always apparent where or why a man has gone. Your friend, Elise, hires many people to work. She may know better. Perhaps. I feel a great change coming. You will face powerful foes. Please, take this. A new poison I have been testing. It makes the victim momentarily hysterical. Thank you, Venerable One. Evelyn, old girl! Where you been? The swamp's not the same without you. The gators are getting uppity. Oh, you know, business demands and piano recitals. <sighs> How I've missed the bayou air. It has the scent of action about it. Among other things. Listen, I'm glad you're here. The other day I saw something and I said to myself, Elise, old girl, something's not right. Convoys loaded with the strangest cargo. People. Dozens of them. Where were they headed? I can't say. But I know where they came from. The fort. Will you show me the place? Thought you'd never ask. Meet me tomorrow. I'll mark your map. Hmm. Ha <laughs> 
carriage just passed. We can catch it at the bend. I'll race you. I recognize these people. Some of them have worked for me. Chris Fay! A word? Elise! What are you doing here? What does it look like? Rescuing you. From what? Employment? Freedom? Uh, Chris Fay? These chains don't exactly say freedom to me. Temporary discomforts. Too many workers escaped the last voyage without paying their fare. We'll be released once we reach the worksite. These terms don't concern you. Elise, everything in this life concerns me. But I can survive a little longer till we get south to freedom. I don't trust this. Chris Fair, I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But... We should investigate the fort while the time is ripe. With all the soldiers in town, there can't be many left. Elise! I like your thinking. Good. I'll scout ahead. Find me at the bridge. And Chris Fay? Keep out of trouble while we go stir some. Right. Thanks. Now's our best chance. The highest ranking man I've seen is a Teniente. He's lightly protected, but the fort is so big, we'll need to be smart to find him. I think we can handle that. Oh, I... One thing confuses me. What would the Spanish want with the people of Saint Danger? Why them? Why now? This isn't the first time I've detected irregular activity around the Spanish. 
When they were first taking over, I stumbled on a plot to control the Gouverneur and divert slaves to some underground project. And? I thought I made sure it wouldn't happen again. Let's go make doubly sure.
Stop her! Ah. I suppose interrogation's out of the question now. There are quicker ways to get at the truth. Does this mean we don't get to board the workship? Workship? Where is this workship bound? Away from this wretched colony forever, that's all I know. All right, everybody out. Come with me. I'm going to die in this cesspool of a territory, aren't I? Evelyn, you'd better make yourself scarce before you incite any more gratitude. I'll escort these people back to Saint Danger. Evelyn, you are... unhappy? What did you find? Too much and not enough. The Spanish are behind the kidnappings. But the kidnapped seem to look forward to their transit. To where I don't know. 
No one at the fort could tell me. The directive must come straight from the uh, top, from Gouverneur Uyua. Is this why he hides in La Balise instead of coming to the city and leading like a proper leader? What is his true purpose here? I don't know, but I intend to find out. That will be difficult as long as he stays couched in La Balise. I'll drive him out and make him answer. Interrogation is not your usual style. This is not a usual circumstance. Good. Then let us gather our unusual circumstances to plan our attack. This Spanish gouverneur has placed so many restrictions on trade, even plantation owners are practically begging for an excuse to riot. If I can infiltrate the crowd, I can create that excuse. 